Oeganda 2007. In opdracht van het muziekgebouw aan het IJ reis ik naar Oeganda, ook wel de Parel van Afrika genoemd. Ver voor de tijd van Idi Amin, de dictator die het land een slechte naam bezorgde, bestond Oeganda uit diverse koninkrijkjes. Elk koninkrijk had haar eigen muziekcultuur, met tientallen hofmuzici in dienst die inheemse instrumenten bespeelden. Een van die traditionele instrumenten is de akadinda, een reuze xylofoon. In Oeganda zijn nog enkele mensen te vinden die de akadinda bespelen. Het doel van mijn reis is om deze akadinda spelers te bezoeken en uit te nodigen om naar Amsterdam te komen. Vandaag ben ik in het dorpje Lutengwe. Hier worden instrumenten gemaakt door leden van de Buganda Music Ensemble. Deze heren zullen in muziekgebouw aan het IJ een Akadinda workshop geven, maar ik krijg alvast een voorproefje. When we are cutting, uh, tuning the first uh, xylophone, he mm has -hmm. to, to get the very most the highest note. Okay, he's starting with the highest? Yes. So he, he cut on the edges, he shape on the edges. Okay. As you see him. And does he do everything um, by ear? Exactly. When he t tests by it? Ear. Yeah. So you don't have any fancy tuning no. equipment? No. And what about the banana trees? You can also just chop them yes, anywhere yes. here? Anywhere. We have print of them. What is he making? Uh, he's making his, um, the tuba fiddle. The fiddle? Yeah. Okay. And there's the fiddle when it's almost ready. Yeah. Yes. Not quite. Just man to be dressed because it's naked now. <laughs> like you. It's hard to dress it. <laughs> Okay, can you play it, John, or is it not yet ready to be played on? Just a little. You got to put a rinse in here. That's okay. Why it's not sounding. Not sound good not yet. Coming. Okay. Yeah. You're playing a European song. How do you know this song? Zit we in de bush gaat hij altijd eens kort jakje ziek spelen. Who taught you that song? Oh wow, I'm a musician, right? That's got it. That's that's the tune that you know. That's the when you want to bring the muzungu yeah. into Africa, you know, uh, into the um, African rhythm. Yes. You ought to play something of their originality. They know, yeah. On your instrument, so that they can, you know, be persuaded. That yeah, they can, <laughs> that they can play it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow. It's not. It's not yet. Too. Yeah, but so it sounds great already. Not, not <laughs> okay, no so, we so this sound. Which do you prefer? The sound of the banana trees or the box and the rubber, does it sound the same or is there actually sounds, a difference? It sounds the same uh, oh, okay. because as, 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 a, as per now, the world is of computer world. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> and carrying banana stems to Europe, is, it will not, it's not long lasting, you know? No. It's about one week and it's one out. So, and then what happens? Uh, when you take banana stems, of course, you got to be, when you, uh, let's say, if you got about three gigs, yeah, you, you can, can use do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
so you're saying that uh, the banana tree it actually gets worn out, so it doesn't sound good after you've used it. For... No, because it will be even smelly. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Yeah. Een grote zak met houtskool wordt hier bezorgd. Dit is de auto die we vandaag gehuurd hebben. Die heeft uh, denk ik 20 kilometer gereden en daarna ging die stuk. Vandaar dat het avontuur verder ging met de brommertaxis. Prima alternatief moet ik zeggen. Maar met deze gehuurde auto gaan we het niet meer terughalen naar Kampala vandaag. Albert heeft net bij de plaatselijke slagerij een stukje vlees gehaald voor zijn familie. Waar we dadelijk naartoe gaan. En daar ligt koffie te drogen, gewoon op de grond. Nu wordt de aller, allerlaatste toets gestemd en dan is de Akadinda speelklaar. Speciaal voor mij organiseren de leden van de Buganda Music Ensemble een concert waarbij de gloednieuwe Akadinda centraal staat. Het zou een informeel optreden worden, maar ineens worden uit een stoffige bruine koffer hagelwitte kostuums tevoorschijn gehaald. Gelukkig ben ik niet de enige toeschouwer. Buganda is the region, yes. with the state which takes uh, where the Baganda live. Okay. The Baganda, these are the people who live in Buganda. Yes. And Muganda is the person, that person who was born in Buganda. Okay. So the person is Muganda. Yes. The, re the, the region is Buganda, 
and the language is Luganda. Okay, now I finally understand. <laughs> and uh, where did you grow up in which village? Well, I grew up in Lutengo village mm -hmm. where we recorded the music. Yes. And uh, I grew up with my father. Okay. And, What's your uh, father's name? Albert, the late Albert Sempeke. Could you tell me a little bit more about your father? Because I think he was a very interesting man. Well, about my father, I have a lot. First and foremost, my father was one of the most respected, I can say a rigid musician. My father started playing music when he was nine, nine, ten years. And uh, by that time, that, that, that was the, during Mutesa to the second regime. Mm -hmm. So there were the beginners, flute players, they used to play flute in the village. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they grew up, but they used to play flute using bam, uh, papaya. Oh, okay. Live, yeah. And when our, in the, the same village, there's a person who used to live in the area, mm -hmm. and it was a flute, it was in the flute band of the king. Mm -hmm. And when he had them playing their papaya leaves, <laughs> then he came to them and said, oh. because they were very young, yes. and he asked them, oh, now how, how do we, who taught you how to play the flute? So they started that and they were invited to play in the palace. I play a number of instruments, but uh, the, the flute is very vital in our family. Yes. Because it's the beginning of our music career. Okay. I think there's another interesting uh, detail about your father. How many children did he have? Well, my, my father was a very strong man. <laughs> we were, uh, we, we were 30. 30? 30, yeah. 3 0. 3 0. Very and impressive. As you see, you, saw, uh, you have seen most of them, in some of them in the village, those who are dancing. Yes. Those are my sisters. Okay. And uh, those who are playing instruments, my brothers. Mm -hmm. So we have a uh, almost a, a big t f a football team, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. in the family. So right. Your dad was lucky to have so many children who are oh, yes. willing to preserve the music now. Yes, so yeah. it was very important. Yeah. If we produced maybe two, it wouldn't have, you wouldn't have seen us, I mean, you wouldn't have heard our music. Yeah. Maybe. Okay, Albert, thank you very much, and we will be looking forward to having you in Amsterdam. Oh, thank you very much, and we look forward to see Amsterdam. Uh -huh.